I'm going to give you guys just a real quick turnaround drill. So to spin a horse, we're going to be at a complete standstill. Okay, your hand's going to be on their neck. That's your part break. We're going to take our inside foot away. So for you, I'm going to turn to the right, but my right leg is going to come straight away like that. Same thing. Well, my right leg is going to come straight away like this. Okay, so we're going to open the door, and then all I'm going to do is just drag my hand. My hand's going to come from here to either side of that saddle horn slowly. So if I take my foot off and I drag this slack, she should come right to my hand. And she should stay there as long as my hand stays over. As soon as my hand quits, she should stop. As soon as my hand goes back to her neck. Okay? Clock to them once they start stepping. Put your hand down there. Don't throw it down on their neck. Nicole, right up there and get her a pair of spurs, please. Give Cassie a pair of spurs. Kylie, sorry. Just keep your hand low there. Feel how that horse is kind of tucking his chin in a little and he's rocking back. We'll get you a pair of spurs and make that easier. Cassie, drop your hand slowly. Good. Back your hand towards his neck just a little where you're not, you don't want to bind their chins up. Good girl. For a reining horse, you're always going to spin at least four times. So not very often do I work on turning a horse two or three times. So when you guys get them turning there, don't necessarily have to count. I don't want you to get dizzy, but turn them enough that you know you've at least gone four times. Does that make sense? Ideally, you'll be able to just take your foot away, touch the rein on her neck so that she knows which way she's going. Okay. You notice how my hand wasn't way over here, wasn't way up in the air? I just kept my hand over and made her step to my hand. So like I was telling you in there in the office, if I wasn't totally happy with parts of that turnaround, I'm going to take her out here and work on it. Okay? She was kind of a little luggy on my foot, so I'm going to rake her off my spur a little. She kind of wanted to poke her nose to the outside, so I'm going to pick her up. Now you can see how much work this is outside here with me pulling on her and me raking on her belly. Even though she's got a great mind, you can still see her kind of prancing around and I'm kind of getting in her, in her, in her ribs a little. And then I'm going to say, okay, now then, just turn around and don't make me ask you twice about it. And she'll say, oh, thank you for letting me do it. See how much faster that was? So all I had to do to her was give her an option and she'll choose what I want because I've spent two years putting that on her. And that's the, that is the basic principle of what I do on a reining horse.